This is Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum and we're going to do a mid-winter update on our native bees. We have six native bee hives. We got three this time last year and then we split them. I think it was late in December we split them. We made a video of that. We had a bit of a mishap. What happened was we put a bit of mower fuel in the vicinity of two of the hives. The fumes from the mower fuel killed a lot of the bees. The container had the lid on but it was the funnel. After we poured fuel out of it and the funnel and all that was sitting What's near the beehives and then some of them died. So we had to rescue those and I'll, I'll show you what we did, how we were able to rescue the bees. Because it's a beautiful day here, I'll just tell you what the temperature is. It's 27 degrees Celsius today, beautiful sunny day. And as you can see here, the bees are out working flat out in and out now that one's a very strong hive over here we have a hive it's it's working pretty well but it's a bit down in numbers so this is one of the hives that we had a lot of dead bees in it but we managed to rescue it so you can see here that there's not that many bees in there and i also want to point something else in this talk a friend on the flow forum asked me what happens to the bees during winter so during winter what the bees do is they build a lot of scaffold and a lot of layers of wax over the brood. So you can't see the brood through the, from the top because they cover the brood to insulate it from the cold. Normally during the summertime you can see the top of the advancing front through the perspex because they don't feel the need to insulate it oh, so, so much. So is that what they do, like putting a blanket over it? Yeah, over the brood to keep it warm because native bees can't generate heat as much as European honeybees do because of their size of their body mass. So I'll show you how you rescue, how you can rescue a weaker hive and all you need to do is, this is the strong one, now all you do is put the strong hive where the weak hive used to be and put the weak hive so I'll put this weaker hive and you can see all the bees waiting to go in just in the few oh not even a minute since I took that other hive away look how many bees are returning home now you watch when I put this other hive there they're just straight in straight in this hive will accept those bees without any problems at all now the bees leaving the strong hive come back to the weak hive and conversely the bees leaving the weak hive will go back to the strong hive. Balance the population out. Yeah and there's no fighting so I've done that quite a bit and there doesn't appear to be any fighting at all. Now that one's set. Now let's have a look at the, the stronger hive after a question from a friend named Kirsten. I want to show Kirsten uh, what I was talking about. Remember with the other hive you can see how they insulated the top of the brood. Now have a look at this this lid that we've made. You can see how this lid fits snugly over the hive. We have this roll of insulation that somebody gave us. This thermal insulation. It's only about a quarter of an inch thick. And we put some on the top of the roof and we've put some under the under the lid. Remember I was saying that the bees put their insulation over the brood. Now you can see here clearly that you can see the brood. So because we've got the insulation in the lid, top and bottom, the bees haven't felt the need to cover the top of the brood. Isn't that fantastic? Amazing, yeah. You can see here by the amount of bees working in amongst all that honey and pollen around the brood and that has got a good uh, population. This strong hive can carry the weaker hive. I'll put it back where the weaker hive was. You watch the bees. Yeah. This is the strongest hive out of the six. We've used this hive about six times to, to strengthen a weaker hive. And you can see again how that they've still left some of the brood exposed. Because of the insulation. Because of the insulation oh. in the lid. Yeah, wow. There's it certainly we, has made a difference, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So once we get into spring, which won't be that far away, 
We've got uh, basically a spring day today. We have. They'll all build up pretty quick. So it's good to know. I think somebody told me that you can't do that, swap the hives around, but I've I've proven that you can. Well, we've had good success with it, haven't, haven't we? Good success, yeah. Righto, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.